Hi all, welcome to my video um, in a series of videos I'm doing. Um, and this is a role play video uh, that helps you navigate through um, the open house process and having all of your attendees uh, by law needing to sign the buyer's representation agreement short form. All right, um, so more about that in a second. So who are we? Uh, we're White Rock Realty, or we're an independent brokerage. We have agents in uh, Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico. Um, I am Brad Anderson, I'm the broker. And uh, this is my contact information. Uh, should you want anything in this video, handouts, whatever, I'm more than happy to share. Um, just reach out and I will send it off to you. If you are not an agent with White Rock Realty, we would love to uh, see if you might wanna be. And uh, for that, you can go to www.whiterocktexas.info, find out more about us and set up an appointment uh, to chat. So these are the other videos in the series. They are all role plays to help you um, navigate through tricky conversations that we need to have with our clients. So um, they're all on our YouTube channel, go there and and uh, see what else you might enjoy. Uh, before we get started, just a disclaimer, all videos contain dialogue and examples that are completely fictitious. All data, including compensation examples, names, addresses, are used for example purposes only and not real. All data should not be interpreted as a directive, suggestion, or mandate to use. And then I want to read a, uh, some dialogue from many of our contracts, which states broker compensation or the sharing of compensation between brokers is not set by law nor fixed, controlled, recommended, or suggested by the Association of Realtors, MLS, or any listing service. Broker compensation is fully negotiable. Brokers independently determine their fees. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, today's topic is uh, the buyer's representation agreement short form in the environment of an open house. So remember that we cannot show a home without a written agreement in Texas. And uh, that goes for open houses. So I know this is a work in progress. This may seem a little clunky at first, but um, I hope to go through some helpful pieces of dialogue that, that help you get this signed. Now, before we kind of move into the role playing, um, which is just me, by the way, there's no person on the other side of this, but um, you could argue that this is only going to work if you're not just bombarded with people that show up all at once. Because um, you got to get this signed. And when you have a flood of people come through an open house at once, um, it's going to be difficult. Um, whether I'm your broker or not your broker, do the best you can. Um, but I want to go on record as saying that you have to get this document signed by every attendee that comes through the open house in order to show it, okay? So let's say that you are hosting an open house and um, your first couple walks in. Hey, how are, how are you? Welcome to uh, 123 Main Street. Um, glad, you, glad you're here. This is a printout of um, uh, what the home is about number of bedrooms, bathrooms, uh, square footage, price, and all that good stuff. If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, now, uh, by law, we are required as realtors um, to uh, have you sign in. And um, this document um, uh, does that. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna ask for your phone number or email address. This is just something that we are required as realtors to have filled out, all right? And so that's kind of where that conversation would end, but I have up on the screen an example of what you might propose. So um, 
this is going to be their names. They're, they're going to fill this in. And then in my opinion, you're going to want to have a stack of these that are already pre-filled in with your brokerage's name and then the date of the open house. So you can kind of see here, it's just one day. And then you're going to check showing services. And then you're going to put zero here. All right. And that's pretty much it. You're going to want to pre-sign these. And then the attendees name would go here and they're going to sign here. All right. So that is some sample dialogue that might be able to help you, um, you know, navigate through that. And I apologize. I didn't share my screen, did I? All right. There's the document that I was referring to. All right. So the attendees name goes here, your brokerage name, and you put the specific address of that open house, just that day, right? Zero here. And then check the box that says showing services. And then you're going to sign it and then they're going to sign it. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully that dialogue was helpful. I will tell you that as you can imagine, you're going to get people that refuse to sign it. You're going to get people that ask you questions. You're going to get people that whose handwriting is illegible. Um, you're going to get all sorts of responses. Uh, as I mentioned before, do the best you can. But that being said, you are required by law to get that document signed at every open house by every attendee. Okay. All right. I hope you found the video helpful.